if I tell you what we are going through, the cost of speaking out, Rob, I'm telling you the cost of speaking out. BBC uh, documentary, it has been hell. Hell. I'm telling you hell. I don't walk out freely. I don't walk out freely. I don't go to church anywhere. I do my church in the house. In fact, as I'm telling, telling you, I'm planning to relocate because a lot, lot of people know me around here. I'm trying to move. Pastor, take time. Say it again. But we have made a petition. We have written to the police. We have written to the army. We have written to the court of justice. To every, we have told them they should order an inquiry. They should order an inquiry into our complaint. They should order an inquiry and they should order an inquiry into our allegations and to find out whether it is true or false. My God. And then find a way to protect us. It's a problem for us. We don't feel free. We don't go to the, the younger ones involved. The, we, we know how they are running, they are running all over the world, hiding. We're not free. It's terrible. Rob, I'm I say it's terrible. It's terrible. You can imagine such a man. You can imagine what he can do. His machineries are still there to today. Not he's dead, but I'm telling you that he's even more powerful now than when he was alive. My God. Start again. Yeah, I am Godwill Agomo Paul, popularly known as Prophet Agomo Paul in the Synagogue Church. I was very close to him. I was just like the number two in the Synagogue Church of All Nations. There are certain things he told me personally that I know many of the disciples never knew. Well, I'm so close to him that way. Uh, in fact, the day he anointed me, he told the world that he really, that this is somebody he loved so much. And I loved him. He was a man I loved so much. I loved T.B. Joshua. I loved him until I discovered that everything was a facade of lies, facade of manipulation, demonic operations. I felt disappointed. I was so bad. But I tell you, whatever it costs, I will make sure. I will stand. I will give this testimony. I will continue. I can never falter. I can never go back because I know what I'm saying is the truth. If it is the truth, it will stand the test of time. <laughs> Good morning and win today. My name is M. Tommy Pass of Peace Arc with the Street. <laughs> oh God. So um I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play this video I want to talk about right now on my on, on my timeline. I'm gonna drop the link of this video. Uh I'm gonna drop the link on my description or my comment uh, comment section. So I want you to go and watch it yourself. <laughs> You see, when the devil gives you food to eat, that food would never settle in your tummy. When the devil gives you food to eat, that food would never settle in your tummy. I have never known the devil to do anything good. Any, nothing good can come from the devil. If anything looks good, you know, before him and in his hand, it's a camouflage. It cannot be good. It will only entice you, you know, trying to make you see that thing as, as a good thing or something and a gift to you. Once you collect it, you will realize that you collected it from the wrong person. You see, when Agomo and the rest of them went to BBC, they did the documentary, we did not hear. Agomo has never come out to say that he wasn't safe. Agomo has never come out to say that this happened to him and this happened to anybody. They didn't say that. You went on your own, you did a documentary, and one day when the documentary came out, now you're coming to tell the whole world that you are no longer safe. You are written to the army, you are written to the police, you are written to the court of justice, you are written to, to protect you. Protect you as, as who? Who is pursuing you? That now you want to relocate from Nigeria to where? Who is pursuing you? <laughs> that even the little ones, that running, running enter skater. Who is pursuing you? Nobody is pursuing you. <laughs> okay, Agama, hold on. Tell us who exactly is pursuing you. Has anybody called you, threatened you? Has anybody sent you a message? Has anybody sent you an email? No. It is your guilty conscience that is chasing you about. See, there are people you cannot try, you know, a joke with in this life and go with it. There are people you cannot just wake up and, and start saying trash and go away with it. You're offending the wrong person. Someone called me some weeks ago and told me she had a dream. I said, what was the dream about? I said, she saw daddy, daddy T.B. Joshua, with Ken, very angry and was moving in the space. 
He has started flogging all of you. You hear what he, what he says? He says that Tipu Joshua is more powerful now than, than, than when he was alive. <laughs> They are not using their mouth to confess. They are not using their mouth to say the truth about this whole matter. You see? Now, let me tell you what you have not pinned out, uh, taken out from that, uh, what he has said. See, he said he has written to the Commission of Police, uh, written, uh, written to the Army and the Court of Justice. Now, that, is, that was their main aim. That was BBC's main aim with, in collaboration with all of them. That once they are done with this thing, because Nigeria and Africa, they feel that we are so stupid, that we just leave some important things and look at life. Number one, everything you guys said that there was no single tangible evidence. It was just a group of fools coming together to say whatever they don't know. It was just a group of incompetent, a group of a group of ingrates that came together to you know bond and started lying. There was no single evidence. Okay, this is how it happened. This is a message. No email. No picture. No video. Nothing. Just words of mad anybody can say. I feel you can you cannot touch the tiger's tail and go back home and sleep. You cannot sleep, sir. This is just the beginning. Share the talk. I said you now get BP. This is how they play. Now me they tell you now the truth. Now, just me like this. Now the truth, now the truth. You have BP. That BP will not be because you, you you have used your hand. You have used your hand to eat the devil's food. You have BP because you won't be able to sleep. You won't be able to sleep. You'll be restless all the days of your life until you come out to say the truth that you were bribed to do that documentary. Until you come out to say, yes, I'm sorry, I didn't know what happened, I didn't know what I did. But if, like now you're posting that you will sit stand and be given that testimony. Okay, sleep now, let, let me see. Uh, go and sleep now, let me see. <laughs> I go go, I go and say, you want to relocate, I don't, it doesn't go to church anymore. If you were doing the right thing, why won't you go to church? If you're doing the right thing, why won't you be free? Nobody's chasing you. Nobody's going after you. You drop your video, we drop evidences. And now you are afraid because you have evidences against all the nonsense you guys did. And you're saying you, you, you can't sleep. You never, you never say anything. You never say anything. Relocate. Relocation, changing your environment will not change anything. This is a spiritual thing. Until you come out and say the truth and confess what you have done, this cohort. You will never, never, never go. Okay, guys, I've dropped the link of that video on the comment section of the description. Go and watch it. <laughs> go and watch it then. Go and watch it and then let me know what you think about it. <laughs>